Karan and good morning to one and all. One could turn to the first Prime Minister of India, Sri Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru ji, who laid the foundation stone of this iconic building, Vidana Sauda, under the chief ministership of late Sri K. C. Reddy. Nehru's appreciation quote regarding the role and the status of the speaker, either in the Loka Sabha or in the Vidana Sabha, is as follows. The speaker represents the house. He represents the dignity of the house, freedom of the house, because the house represents the nation. In a particular way, the speaker becomes the symbol of nation, freedom and liberty. Therefore, it is the right that a suitable person should be honoured to this particular position. These are one among the few positions which could be occupied always by a person of outstanding ability and impartiality. Right now here in Karnataka Assembly, Shri Vishweshwara Hegde Kageri is the 21st sitting speaker who fits this particular role. Over to Mr. Gnan Shekhar to know more about the speaker role and the significance of the speaker's office in Vidana Sauda. Inputs by Srimati Kavita, editor of Rajya Dharma, and myself, Vasanta Kavita, the founder of the KCDT Foundation and the, the initiator of the rediscovery of Vidana Sauda. Thank you. My humble salutations to the Honorable Speaker Sri Vishweshwar Agade Kagari, Karnataka Legislative Assembly. I am here today to speak about the most significant offers. Among the attractions of the Vidhan Sauda, the Speaker's Office happens to be most important. The Speaker's Office is also a model Speaker's Office. But you may be wondering this, what is a model Speaker's Office? If you come across the first floor in the western side near the Kengel Gate, room number 125 is the Honorable Speaker's Office. The Speaker's Office is a huge, we have a huge Speaker's Office with a modern infrastructure upholstery, the meeting hall arrangements, antechamber, and most significantly behind the speaker's chair, we have a huge frame of Karnataka Legislative Assembly photograph, which is a 3D photograph. It appears as though we are going inside the assembly hall, and that is the dimension of the significance of this photo. Our Honorable Speaker happens to be the 21st Speaker. He has been born to Sarveshwari Hegre and Hanant Hegre, and he has four brothers, and he was born on July 10th, 1961. He was being attracted by public cause and deep concern for the public cause. And he actively participated in ABVP as a general secretary in a top position. And again, he joined for RSS. And he was being trained in such a way to participate in the public movement to raise the voice against the injustice. And this definitely molded him a, a very good leadership skill. And not only that, he also participated in a movement that Assam Ulissi. And later on he jumped in active politics and he contested for the first time in 1994 from Ankola. He got elected. Since then he didn't look back at all. In 1996 he was being sworn in as a parliamentary secretary, that means a junior minister. He got trained well and based on this training in 1998 he, he was again sworn in as primary and secondary education minister. And he, he performed his duty well. And not only that he introduced the Bhagavad Gita at the primary level. Apart from this now... <coughs> Presently, the Honorable Speaker, after he took over as a speaker, as a, as a, as a 21st speaker from Ramesh Kumar Chi, uh, he did for the first time, he took a lot of initiative, that is a debate on the Constitution of India. It went well in the month of March, it was conducted and it was to mark the 70 years of uh, the completion of the Constitution of India. And significantly, he had in his mind to take one particular subject in one, one week a day, particularly when the session is on. And not only that, apart from this, uh, he uh, he happens to be uh, 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 participating in 64th conference of uh, Commonwealth Conference that is held in Uganda. And next he became a core mem uh, member uh, for a committee which is constituted exclusively to look into the, the reformation aspects uh, regarding this 10th schedule of anti-defection law. And this is how the Honorable Speaker is the heart of the parliamentary system of Karnataka and he is a custodian of the members, he conducts the business of the house and apart from this, he is doing his excellent job and particularly a new, in a new way, in a new, new and redefined manner. However, I wish to state that Honorable Speaker has a very pivotal role because he speaks for the nation. Uh, this is Nan Shekhar, Parliamentary Guide, Inputs, S. Kavita, Editor, Rajadharma, Photo Courtesy by Mr. Amrish sir. Uh, and Amaran sir. Thank you very much. Namaste.